Hi, welcome to this screencast looking at patterns of geographical features. The aim of this is to very quickly be able to help you describe human and physical features on a map. Theoretically in the exam they can give you any type of map they want to and therefore it's just asking you to describe what patterns you can see. I'm going to look at two different examples. We're going to look at a human features map and we're going to look at a map which should be very familiar to you which is the human uh, population distribution of China. Now when they're talking about describing, the key thing is is to offer no form of explanation whatsoever. So therefore, if you were asked to describe the population distribution of this map, you would say that the vast majority of the population is densely populated on the eastern side, which ranges particularly along the coastline with the most densely populated areas, and then it gets more dense towards the northeast as well. To the west, and particularly the southwest, it is sparsely populated, but there is a thin um, strand of reasonably densely populated areas to the northeast. Uh, it's not to the northeast, to the northwest, sorry. Okay, now all you're asked to do there is to describe the pattern, so it's literally picking out any trends, patterns. Now, what this map doesn't have is any place labels on it, but what they could have done, and what they might have done at some point in time, is they might have given you um, some names possibly um, and so they might have put a mark here for where Beijing is or Shanghai okay so they can then ask you to actually name some places as well to give you a better chance and give you more detail to explain it looking at another one this is a physical geography map this is looking at the uh, relief map of the United Kingdom and if you were asked to describe the pattern of this you've got place names there as well to, uh, to go with it so you can say that the, the highest land is most densely populated Populated to the north and to the west, and in particular Scotland and the Highlands, but you've also got the southern uplands, and then running down the down England, you've got the Pennines in the north and the Lake District to the northwest. Wales is, is got a high relief running through the centre of it, and then you've got two small pockets down in the southwest in the Cornwall Devon area. What you can then say is that the rest of the country is largely flat, with particularly the flattest areas being in the fens um, of the east of England and then you've got some flat areas to the southeast as well and it's just about describing the patterns you'll notice in that example that I've just given I've picked out place names hopefully this has been helpful to you